Hello and welcome back to Tea in the Deep Blue Sea with me, Victoria. Thank you very much for joining me on the channel. I really appreciate all of your support. If this is your first video, hi, hello. It's so nice to have you here. If this is not your first video, thank you so much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. So today's video may be a little bit of a long one. So I have a giant mug of tea. It's Sea Monkey FAQ. So I've got a list of questions that I'm going to work through. This may end up being a one, two or three part video. I'm not entirely sure yet. We'll see how long it takes to get through these questions. So without further ado, I hope you enjoy the video. If you've got any further questions that you would like to ask, please feel free to do so down in the comments and I will answer them in a future video and I will also reply to you and they may be added on if there is a future video with part two or three for the Sea Monkey FAQs. I hope you enjoy the video. Cheers. So, Sea Monkey FAQs. What are sea monkeys? Are they brine shrimp? No, sea monkeys are not brine shrimp. They are a hybrid called Artemia MYOS, which stands for the New York Oceanographic Society because they were a hybrid bred in a lab, whereas Artemia salina is what brine shrimp are. So they are different species. Although the two are commonly used interchangeably, they shouldn't be because sea monkeys are not brine shrimp. So why are they called sea monkeys? Sea monkeys are called sea monkeys because of their long monkey-like tails. They don't resemble monkeys in any other way apart from they've got long monkey-like tails. Where can you buy sea monkeys? Sea monkeys are becoming more popular again and you can buy them in a number of places. In the UK you can buy them at places like Pets at Home, Amazon, Very, places like that or from the Sea Monkeys website directly which I will link to down in the comments and they do ship to the US and pretty much worldwide I think as well as the UK. Hmm. There are a number of additional sea monkey items, what are they? So for starters you have the three which are included in your starter set. So you have the Sea Monkey Water Purifier, you've got the Sea Monkey Instant Eggs and you have the Sea Monkey Growth Foods. So they're all included in your pack. The additional items you can get are packet number four which is the Sea Monkey Plasma which is designed to, it is formulated so that 50% more young sea monkeys will grow and thrive in any ocean zoo aquarium. So you add this in 10 days after they hatch. We also have the Grow Quickly Growth Stimulator. There is also the Banana Treat, which is a sea monkey dessert. Because they're monkeys, they like bananas. We have the Sea Diamonds, which are very elusive and very hard to get hold of, especially if you are in the US and Canada. If anyone is in the US and Canada and wants to get hold of some, let me know and I can sort you out with getting hold of some. And we have the Red Magic Sea Monkey Vitamins, which is an alternative food, which I feed alternately week. So I feed one week food and the next week Red Magic, which also can give them a little bit of a red pinkish hue. So how big do they grow? Sea monkeys can grow up to two centimetres, about a centimetre or two. I think it's one centimetre. Um, so about this big and um, they don't grow very big. So they're really easy, really nice pets to have. So I would highly recommend getting sea monkeys. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit sea monkey obsessed, but highly recommend them. They're very small. They live for about two years. If you look after them well, I know a lot of people haven't had them that long and they have died off. But if you do everything right, follow the instructions, they can live for two years, which is a really long time for something like sea monkeys. So definitely get yourself some. Um, the difference between male and female sea monkeys, I will add a graphic in here. So the male have the like almost horns on their head and the females have the egg sac at the back. So you can see the difference. This is only noticeable when they hit juvenile stage and when they're adults. So when they're um, young, you can't really tell the difference. So don't worry if you can't tell the difference between them yet. How long do they take to hatch? They can take up to six weeks to hatch, but they sometimes can hatch instantly. It all depends on your water temperature and the conditions of the water in your tank. So don't worry if they haven't hatched, don't need to flush them away and bin them just yet. Please give them a chance to hatch. They can take up to six weeks. If they don't hatch after six weeks, they can be something called second and third generation eggs. So second and third generation eggs are eggs that need to go through two or three dry spells before they hatch. So what you need to do 
is let the water naturally evaporate and then you add a quarter of the water purifier packet back in. You don't need to add loads of salt, just a quarter of the water purifier packet and fill it up with distilled water and they should hatch. Or if they're third generation eggs, you need to do this again. So, um, as I mentioned earlier, packets one, two and three come in the Sea Monkey set. If they are damaged, you can just contact whoever you got them from or contact Sea Monkeys if that's where you got them from. Politely ask them about it and get them to hopefully fix the issue. Because I know sometimes they can be moist and like if they've not been stored properly, they can damage them inside and they may not be usable and the eggs may not hatch. So definitely worth contacting whoever you got them from if that is the case. Can you add more eggs to a tank? Yes, you can add more eggs to a tank. Um, I recommend following the instructions and just adding one packet of the eggs so they have enough space. Um, however, if you've only got a couple of adults, yes, I, I would say you can add more eggs into that tank. Um, don't move sea monkeys around tanks though because each tank has a completely different water chemistry. Um, even though you can set them up exactly the same, the tanks are still very, very different with things like bacteria and algae and whatever's growing in there. So don't move sea monkeys tanks, but you can add more eggs if you've just got a couple of adults and want to help propagate your population. I have dead ones. What do I do? If you have dead sea monkeys, if it is a female, I would leave her in the tank because the eggs can still continue to grow and hatch. So you don't need to remove a dead female from the tank. If you've got a dead male, you can remove them from the tank using the aqua leash that came with your sea monkeys kit or something like a pipette and just remove them from the tank that way. I wouldn't worry too much about leaving them in. I've left dead ones in before and it hasn't caused any problems for my tank and you don't suddenly get a big build up of dead bodies at the bottom of your tank. They do get uh, sort of eaten by the bacteria and sort of just... Um, turn to nothingness <laughs> um and just sort of it's not a problem leaving dead ones in the tank at all so i wouldn't worry about it but if it is a pregnant female definitely don't remove them from your tank is it normal to have sea monkeys of all different colors yes absolutely we all vary in color species of animals they all vary in color there is natural variation in colors of sea monkeys from white to orange to pinkish red it is absolutely natural for them to vary in colour, so I wouldn't worry. The only time I would worry is if they start to change colour, because that can be a sign of not enough oxygen in the tank. So if they start turning quite red, they may not be getting enough oxygen, so you need to aerate the tank more. But naturally, they do vary in colour, and you can have some more orangey ones, some more white ones, and that is all absolutely natural. If your sea monkey has an extra long tail, I've got to tell you, that's not an extra long tail, that is poop. <laughs> that is sea monkey poop. So don't be really, really excited that you've got a sea monkey with an extra long tail. I'm afraid to tell you, it's just poop. <laughs> can you train them? So yes, in a way you can train sea monkeys. They do respond to light. So if you shine a light like a pen torch at the tank, they will follow it around. If you darken the room, they will follow the light to the different sides of the tank. Is there enough room in my small sea monkey tank? Yes, sea monkeys are designed to live in the tanks that they come in. So there is enough space. They don't need a lot of space. So don't worry about moving them to a larger tank. They will do fine in the tank that they are in. Can they live with other animals? No, no, no. Sea monkeys are at the bottom of the food chain. Whatever you put them with will eat them. <laughs> Whether you try and add corals or other fish, they will simply eat them. So do not put sea monkeys in a tank with anything else. You will get your population destroyed. And if you're adding other animals into a tank, you need to have filtration and heaters and everything like that set up, which is not what a small sea monkey tank is designed for. And if it is a bigger tank, that can create problems for the sea monkeys because they will get sucked into the filters. So that is something to be aware of. Just no, don't do it. It doesn't work. So yes, you can move them to a larger tank if you want to. You can set up a large sea monkey tank. Um, I would recommend starting it as a larger tank rather than moving them to a larger tank because the changing water chemistry could cause the collapse of your population. And I will do a video on how to set up a large sea monkey tank in the future because you've got the sea monkey executive supersize suite. Wow, that's a mouthful to say. 
which is four times the size of the regular sea monkeys tank. So yes, you can have them in a larger tank. I've got a large brine shrimp tank on my windowsill. It's blacked out at the back so the sunlight doesn't naturally go in and cook them. Um, but yes, you can have a larger sea monkey tank if you wish. Although the ones that they come in like this are absolutely perfect size. So it's not something you need to worry about and panic about upgrading them when they grow. They're absolutely fine. Do you need heaters and air stones? If you have a larger tank, yes, this is something you can use. And I do recommend you using an air stone for smaller tanks if need be. I've had tanks without air stones where I've stirred them daily, but for an easier routine, which is automated, I have used air stones on timers. Just a very, very small one with a small USB air pump because you don't want the water to be too much and too disturbed constantly. So I set that on a timer and I have just done it. You don't need to get one. You can just stir it or aerate it with the pipette or the aqua leash if you've got one with your tank. If you are doing a large tank, you will need to put in an aquarium heater, depending on what the temperature is in your house, but they like sort of 24 to 27 degrees. I've had mine at 28 degrees before and they've been absolutely fine. It's been a really good temperature for them. So it all depends on what, if your lounge is 28 degrees, sure, fine, you don't need a heater. But if your lounge is a bit colder and you're sitting about 18, 19, you may need to put a tank heater in there like I have for my brine shrimp tank on my windowsill. So feeding for a larger group of sea monkeys. Like I said, I have a brine shrimp tank on my windowsill. The same goes for sea monkeys. If you are feeding a large colony like that, yes, you may need to increase their food. Overfeeding is a really big killer in sea monkeys. It's the most common problem. So you should only feed them once a week and you should make sure the water is clear before feeding them again. If you have a larger group, you may need to use more food. So for my big tank on my windowsill, I use three of the big spoons per week to feed them and they seem absolutely fine with that. One way of seeing if they are fed is looking for the black line throughout their body. It should be a thick black line which should be complete and that's so you can make sure that they are full and well fed. So how can you tell if they are mating? So the female and the male will be locked together. The male uses the horns that he has on his head which are called um, graspers or is it claspers? I think the two are used interchangeably. I always forget the difference. And he sort of locks around the female and they will swim around like that up for a few days. It can last a very long time. They're very active. <laughs> but yeah, sea monkeys, you'll see them together. Sometimes they mate in pairs of three and five. I'm not sure how much successful mating is going around, but if you do see a little conga line going on, it's nothing to be concerned about. They are very sexual creatures. <laughs> Um, it, can you stop them mating? No, you can't stop them mating because the females can produce eggs even without the, them being fertilised by the male. So they will still go on to have babies without male fertilisation. So there is no way of stopping them mating by separating females and males. And I just wouldn't recommend trying to do that. If your males are locked together, there's nothing you can do about it. Sometimes they will not fight, but sometimes be in a competition together, like not not dangerous fighting but sometimes they will lock together lock horns there's nothing you can do about it just leave them to it they'll be absolutely fine don't try and separate them whatever you do um all of them are gathered at the surface yes sometimes they will all gather at the surface sometimes they gather at the bottom sometimes they do congregate in one area that is absolutely normal and nothing to be concerned about they do swim they swim upside down they swim side to side they swim round in circles Sometimes they'll all come to the surface at the same time if they're getting air when they're adults or things like that. So it's not a problem at all if they're all congregating and nothing to be concerned about. They're swimming funny. Are they okay? Yes, sea monkeys are weird, wonderful, magical creatures. They're like little space aliens and they will swim in all the weird and wacky ways. So it's nothing to be concerned about at all. What if you go away? So sea monkeys only need feeding once a week, which is really lucky if you're going away for a week. Um, in terms of aerating the tank, that may be a little bit of a problem while you're away. You can set up an air stone on an automated system. As long as you stir them before, they are, before you go and make sure they're properly aerated before you go, they should be okay. If you're going for a weekend, you'll be absolutely fine. I mean, don't hold me to that if they die but um, I've left mine unaerated for a few days and they've been absolutely fine. If you're going away for a couple of weeks, so you can get someone to come in and feed them. 
so they don't die without food. But in terms of aerating, as long as they're all adults, it should be okay. Can you move house with sea monkeys? Yes, absolutely. Um, don't put them in a box. Make sure they're in their tank and maybe sit in a, get someone to sit in the passenger seat and hold them. But yes, you can move tanks and it's not a problem at all. Just make sure during the journey, if it's a long journey, they don't get too cold. You can wrap the tank in tin foil to keep it warm. My tank has collapsed. What do I do? So if your tank has collapsed, I'm very sorry. It's really sad. I've had it happen to me before and it broke my heart. RIP Jerry. Um, so you can give it some time before just dumping it all away to see if there are some eggs in there that will hatch because it may start again. You can always try and add some eggs into the tank. But there may be eggs in there that haven't hatched yet. So give them chance to hatch. It may magically come back to life. Sea monkeys do do things like that. So always give it chance, give it time, it may, they may come back, always top it up with a bit more distilled water, keep an eye on it, or you can start again, start a new tank when you're ready, but make sure you do give it enough time to make sure that if there are any eggs in there and they are going to hatch, that they have the chance to do that and you're not just preemptively killing them all. So that was part one of my sea monkey FAQs. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I've answered some of your questions. If you've got any more questions, leave them down in the comments below and I hope to see you for part two. Thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you have a wonderful day. Cheers.